I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. Hi guys, welcome to my video. Um, I'm gonna do beauty favourites for you. Um, you're probably thinking she's in the same clothes as her last video. That's because I decided to do two videos this evening um, to get it back into the swing of things, back into the YouTube community. So with this beauty favourites, it's not my favourites over 2013 or just monthly favourites. It's what I'm going to right now, like what I'm loving at the moment and what I wore around Christmas time. Just to warn you before I even start is that most of my makeup is higher end products and that's really bad I know and you don't want to be going out and getting expensive makeup. Okay so I'm going to go straight into it. So the first product I've been, I can't say product, what's wrong with me? The first makeup thing I've been loving at the moment is the Naked Palette. As you all know, I have the Naked 2 palette as well. I kind of just love both. I don't know. I got the Naked 2 and I was like, I have to get the Naked 1. I've got to try both of them out. I prefer the Naked palette. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because it's more neutral colours. It's a more neutral palette. Uh, yeah, just I, around Christmas time, I've been grabbing this instead of the Naked 2. I guess it's because, yeah, more neutral colours and the Naked 2 has more kind of party-ish, shimmery colours. and. This just has more variety. Um, if you'd like a kind of review or like a comparison video on the Naked 2 and the Naked, just ask me because I can do a video talking about both of them, which one I prefer, all of that. And I love the Half Baked and I love Sin and I love Virgin. They're my three favourites. I will zoom up close so you can see, but I really, really do like this palette and I love the packaging as well, to be honest. It's really good. My friends and I, we've cracked the code We count our dollars on the train To the party And everyone who knows us knows That we're fine with this The next product is Drugstore And um, this is from Maybelline It's the Rocket um, Volume Express Waterproof and I've been reaching to this more than my favourite mascara, which is their Real from Benefit, because I feel like this is just as good, but it's cheaper. I love it. Everyone on YouTube talks about it so much, and everyone talks about it in like summer, so I'm a bit late. <laughs> it makes my eyelashes look really long, it doesn't look too thick, it doesn't glot. Love the colour, like it's wow, it's so beautiful, so nice. It's like electric blue, I like electric blue. The next product I've been loving is the Hoola Bronzer. Now this isn't mine, this is my mum's. Um, I haven't really contoured before, so I've started using this recently just to kind of contour the cheekbones, and this is great for beginners. I have to think it's really smooth, it's like a light brown, and it's nice on the skin, not too harsh, um, there's no glitter to it, it's just matte. I really recommend it for people like me who are just starting out on contouring and highlighting and all of that. Just take my advice and go for it. And everyone loves it, I love the packaging as well, it's really cute, really cool. Next product I love and I think everyone in England loves because they bought them to England. They bought them to England, thank you, thank you God. Everyone's been waiting for baby lips to come to England. And I know, again, I am late. Everyone was so excited. Like, oh, everyone was raving about it. And I love baby lips. I love the coloured ones. For example, this, which I got for Christmas. And it smells sensational. I love the smell of cherry. And the colour is brilliant. It's just as good as lipstick. It lasts a long time, obviously. Um, the colour that you can see comes out on your lips. The packaging is just really pretty. So I've been loving this and been using this more than lipstick. This is what I've been using for my base and I really like it. The next product I have, which I was really excited to get and I wasn't expecting. I went into London before Christmas and I was like, I wanna get something really kind of sentimental as a makeup product and I've always wanted one of their bags, and that is Chanel. I've always wanted to come out of Harrods or Selfridges & Co with a Chanel bag on my arm. Just feel classy, you know? So I got um, the CC cream from Chanel, which I never normally do. I never go that, that high end. I've never got YSL or anything like that, but I really wanted something from Chanel 
for a long time. So I thought I'd get the CC cream, which is like a BB cream. It's just as good. And the thing is, with BB creams, like the Smashbox one I have, it smells of potatoes. It smells horrible. But with this, it smells of sun cream. It smells of the really nice kind of um, peachy. Got a kind of peachy smell to it. It smells so good and it's really good on the skin. Um, I've taken it off before and I've had no spots. My skin has been really healthy and clean and it just does its job. SPF 30, it makes your face look really dewy and bright and I just really recommend it. It's Chanel guys, come on! It's classy and the packaging's great and you just feel like a princess when you wear this. And love is a prize. So wake me up when it's the next product over. I have is another benefit product. You, you know, my favorite product is Benefit by far. I just love everything to do with Benefit. So the next thing I have, I'm really late with all like the big products like this because there's newer products now that people recommend, but I love all the old things they have in Benefit, like the Moonbeam. This is a highlighter, and I use it on my nose, my cheeks, my chin, and my cupid's bow, just right at the bottom. It kind of brightens up the lip area, um, and just makes the face I love jewelry. it so much, and it's great. One of the things that just adds a little extra to your makeup, and it's, just, it's, it's a go-to product, definitely. The last product I'm going to talk about, which is another drugstore product, and this is a very new product that I've just been starting, because I've been doing eyeliner, winged eyeliner, and my friend actually recommended this. It's a pen, it's the Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner from Maybelline New York. My first ever eyeliner pen, and I adore it. I'm going to give you a swatch closer up, but this is literally my probably my fifth time doing this, and... I've learnt quite quickly, and that's what YouTube can do to you, because I've been watching YouTube videos forever now. It's, it's one of the thinnest pens you can get, so if you're like me, you kind of like a little bit of wing eyeliner on top, not too much, and this is what you need. If you're a beginner like me, this is the perfect one to get. It's really affordable and a great product in general. That is it now. Journey Finished. I had to think on my feet. But I'm beauty favourites. So I wasn't really prepared. But I really hope you enjoyed anyway. Um, please comment below suggesting what video you'd like to see next Saturday. So if it's a lookbook, um, out of the day makeup tutorial, just put it below. Um, but make sure to comment that. And like, of course, and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye. My ears so red. They're so red.